Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Today we are going to see how to install DSM and protocol in IBM Curator and resolve the dependency error. Generally, the IPM get updated automatically via auto updates in IBM Curator, but sometimes we need to manually update the RPMs. Let us consider a scenario where we need to update TCP multiline protocol in IBM Curator. Before moving ahead, first we need to see the current version of protocol. To do that, let us go to the Curator CLI. This is Curator CLI. In order to get the current version, the command is rpm qa pipeprep i multiline. So you can see over here the current version on IBM Curator is 7.4 hyphen 2019 12 and ending with 336. So now we need to confirm whether this is a latest version or not. In order to check that, we'll go to the IBM Fix Central. Here you can see in the IBM Fix Central there is a protocol section. We'll click protocol here and we'll just type here multi-line. Just make sure you are checking on the correct Curator version. So here you can see the TCP multi-line and the version is 2022. So which means the protocol installed on our Curator is not latest. So we need to download this. To open this, you will just right click and open it into the new tab. I have opened a new tab and you can see this page occur. So I'll click on download using browser HTTPS. I'll continue. As you can see, the page is open now. If you click on that, it will directly download it. Now, once you download it, either you can use WinSCP or FileZilla to put the downloaded file into Curator or you can right click on that, copy the link, go to the CLI and use wget command to download directly. wget and this. To check this, I'll just use ls. So you can see the file got downloaded automatically. Now I wanted to install this file. The command is yum install hyphen y and the protocol. I wanted to update this protocol. Hence, instead of install, I'll just change it to update. yum update hyphen y. Now you can see here the update got failed. It is showing it as an error. And you can see the messages. It depends upon the protocol common. It means that in order to update the multi-line protocol, QRadar is expecting a protocol common to be on the latest version. So we need to download the protocol common. For that, we'll go back again to the fix central and we'll go and type common and download the protocol common similar to what we did some time back. So now I downloaded the protocol common in the same folder and you can see here TCP multi-line and protocol common. Now TCP multi-line protocol is having dependency on protocol common. We need to install both at the same time. So use this command to update that yum update hyphen y to automatically say yes to everything to see me multi-line space protocol common now when we are installing this protocol common is having conflict with all those protocol this means we need to download all this protocol of latest version and install it along with protocol common so now to download this we'll go back to the fix central and download all the protocol one by one I have downloaded all the protocol which was showing in the dependency and you can see here. So now we need to update all those protocol. So to do that we'll type the command yum update hyphen y and protocol. So now it started updating the protocol and you can see here again it threw one more error. It errors says that it is dependent on protocol universal cloud rest api protocol so for that we need to download this protocol and use wget command to download directly so now you can see all the protocol are present we'll again update the protocol so as you can see i have downloaded and just use yum install hyphen y command and it is updating the protocol so it has resolved dependency and all the protocol is getting updated automatically. So it is saying that it is installing the universal REST API. 
so now the protocol update has been done successfully so there are a couple of things which i wanted to tell first is we have used yum install command instead of yum update because some of the protocol was not installed in my machine so i have used yum install hyphen y protocols hyphen star to update all the protocol now the protocol is updated we need to confirm first whether the protocol is updated or not for that we'll use again the command rpm hyphen q a pipe grip hyphen i and multi-line now you can see tcp multi-line is on 2022.05 means the protocol is updated successfully the only thing remains now is to perform full deploy whenever you update the protocol in ibm qreda you will need to perform full deploy if you update a dsm you need to perform a normal deploy now we have got to the admin tab and there are undeployed changes and to see the detail we'll click on view details and see the number of changes so it is asking to perform a full deploy and we'll go to advanced deploy full configuration and then it will start performing a deploy changes we'll click on continue and wait you must plan full deployment by taking approval and performing it in offers as searches report and other curator function will not be available while the full deployment is running the event will not be processed until the full deployment is completed please note that the ecs ec ingress service will not be restarted as a result of full deploy and it will continue to collect the data now the deployment is completed and we are good updating rpm will avoid lot of issue related to the event passing and mapping it will also help to avoid the issue related to the event pipeline and qreda performance thank you for watching video